morning everyone i'm back with again this is going to be um published a bit later maybe in a week or so i'm not sure when but i'm back with my makings for um for my friend's journal i just want to see so i did this yesterday so i can fold that one over like so and like that cute and i might put a little tab on there or something so yep yeah, now that one will go on the outside so that's going to be a little trifold journaling spot and then oh i'm going to do those with you guys those ones i'll show you those after so i just um that might be a belly band or a tag. I haven't decided. Oh, I had this in one of my kits. I can't remember which one. It's one of my antique book pages. Um, and I put a butterfly and flower over it. So I'm just going to fold that. That'll be a cute little journaling spot. This is going to be a little pocket. Um, I haven't done anything with that. Oh, that's going to be a little pocket as well. This is super cute. This is beautiful. Um, end of the 1800s. Um, little card I'm going to be making a kit with those this is a postcard that I had that I've made um, I had some of my Victorian fussy cutting flowers on there and I just um, put some paper on the back this is one of my this is also from that Victorian fussy cutting kit and I put one of these um, flowers that I printed on the vellum there and again that's going to be a journaling spot um, this is a, I haven't got this in a kit yet but it's a gorgeous little um, French I think they came in chocolates and stuff like that um and lulu used it in her kit and so i made that in that's going to be a little tuck or a journal card i think i did this one with you guys i did so that's just going to be a little journal spot then these i've just made into there'll be journal cards i've got some tags here that i prepared i collaged on the back I really like how that turned out and then I cut them out so I might do one of those together these I've, I've made I like a flip so that they they're just two antique postcards or things that I've got I, I don't know if I, I think I might have them in a kit I can't remember and they're going to hang over the top of a page this is a piece of an old not antique vintage book page um, this is a beautiful um, image that I've got and I thought I've got to decide what to do with that so we'll put that one aside little journal cards made with some of my ephemera and bits and pieces of my papers the same with this one I love that how that turned out very simple oh now these are um, those envelopes that I included in the big kit that I did and I accidentally printed them smaller um, 80 at 85% but when I cut them out they are so cute and I don't have those in a kit yet this I do have a kit and I put a little this one I've left open um, and I put a cute little card in there and then this one I kept it simple put a little flower on the back and then I put one of um, the journal cards that Steffi designed here and I've made it fold because it was perfect to fold in half like that so super cute and fun so I did continue on afterwards this I did in the video so that just has to be stitched around I love that might do some more of those and then this one as well really cute like that and that will attach to a page and the same with this one this one's going to glue down onto the page and then it flips up and and down and has a pocket there and then thank you carol for reminding me of that because i didn't remember and then i've got journal cards here here they all need to be finished and then this i think i did this with you guys no i did this by myself i've just folded the paper and put that there side tuck very simple and that's a little journaling spot like that and this was a leftover piece of paper that i had when i had cut down the um i might glue those together and i'm thinking that might be a tuck at the top of a page so i've got quite a bit going on here anything else no i think that's it so i'm getting that but it's got a lot of it has a lot of signatures the book so i'm going to need a lot of stuff and then i also i've got this um 
I don't have this as a kit in my shop. I need to finish those. I'll do that. That's a good idea. I'll get Steffi to do that. He's really good at doing this. Um, so I've got these little um, frames and I just put some tracing paper in them and I might add a label to those and that so they're going to be pockets as well. So we'll put these aside and what was my plan today? So let's look at these. I thought I might like to add um, a Tracy label. And let me have a look here. Maybe not that one. Something like that. should empty out my... Oh, I've got things... <laughs> I've got paper everywhere. And underneath it all, I've got Christmas because I'll do a Christmas video this afternoon. So I think as I mentioned yesterday... Um, I um, it will be the first time in my life that I've ever had more than one video prepared um, on, oh I love that, it's upside down. We're starting off very well today, very, we're doing a good job, good job Rachel, start glued on upside down for your first thing you do. Rightio, so oh, I didn't tell you why Mama Bear came out yesterday, I mentioned it. Um, so basically, um, Lulu had, uh, English and, okay, fair enough. The English teacher is Italian and her pronunciation is not very good. But, and it's frustrating for Lulu because sometimes Lulu doesn't pronounce things properly, but, um, she kind of eats her words or, you know, instead of saying shall, she says shell because she's not, you know, saying it properly. But um, fair enough, she's bilingual. But um, so anyway, the the English prof was very agitated yesterday when she came on to their online lesson. And she decided that she was going to interrogate Lulu, which is like the verbal questioning that they get, which I think is terrifying. Um, but they're used to it, like they do it, they start doing that, it's like, you know, it's like being tested. It's like a written test, but they question you. So it's really hard because you've got to think on your feet and you've got to um, sound sure of yourself and, and not stutter and stumble. But I, I guess it's it's a good skill to have, I think. Like, I was terrified of that sort of stuff. When I was at uni, I just, if I had to do a presentation or anything like that, I'd make up all reasons why I couldn't go to university. I mean, can you imagine? I just never, I never did it. I don't know how I passed <laughs> I'd, I'd hand it in, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't show up for the presentation because I just couldn't stand it. Anyway, it was. Just, um, I. You wouldn't know, but I'm. That's probably why one of the reasons I don't do face to face um, videos. I'm not comfortable with it, and I am. Um, I'm actually quite shy. It doesn't seem like it, but I am. Anyway, I get sidetracked. So. Um, so the teacher was very agitated when she got onto the class, and I was in the other room working and um, I could slowly hear Lulu getting becoming more and more agitated and the next thing I knew I could hear her in floods of tears the poor dear and so basically what had happened was um, so basically what happened was she's on lessons now I've got to speak quietly because she's just opened her mic um, so basically what happened was um, the prof was really agitated when she got on. She decided that she was going to interrogate Lulu and her friend. And when she asked her friend, could, she asked this question and her friend, no, she asked Lulu the question. But when she asked her, um, first of all, the, um, the um, connection wasn't good. The teacher's connection wasn't good and it kept dropping out. So Lulu couldn't hear the question. So she asked her to repeat the question. And... Um, and I could hear her and, and she she said, could, I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand the question or I didn't hear the question. Would you mind repeating it? And um, and um, and so when she repeated it, it happened again. And so Lulu couldn't didn't know what she was asking and um, and asked her. She said, I'm sorry, prof. I, I, and she, so the prof got really angry. And so then she asked her friend and her friend couldn't answer it. And so she started screaming at them. She went bananas and the next thing I knew Lulu was in floods of tears like the tears were literally squirting out of her eyes and she was sobbing and I couldn't hear the prof because um, 
she had her headphones on but she was sobbing and I could hear her trying to answer and just trying to explain that she she hadn't understood the question because she didn't hear it properly and she couldn't understand then what she was asking and she would like to answer the question but could she ask her in a different way so she could understand the question well basically Lulu told her dad what the teacher asked and her dad said that makes no sense she <laughs> How can you answer that? that, may, that but besides the fact that you didn't hear it properly, that question doesn't make any sense. So she literally, um, and then she screamed at her and said, Trenta, why are you crying? There's no reason for you to be crying like this. And she, I mean, Lulu was sobbing. She said, get on with the discussion. And so she had to keep answering her. I don't know how she did it, um, but I felt so bad for her. And then, and so then um, they had maths and Lily cried all the way through maths. And the maths teacher is like their year coordinator. So her friends were so angry. I heard a little bit because one of the kids recorded the teacher. Like they had recorded Lulu crying and you could hear the teacher screaming at her in the recording. And um, like they'd videoed Lulu crying because they could see her because they have to have their um, video on when um, they're being questioned and so anyway so um, her friends were so angry with the way she'd been because you know Lulu's you know, we all know she speaks English and she speaks English better than the teacher does and um, so it was very um, upsetting for her to be treated like that and so, and you have to be careful here because the teachers, um, the profs get very um, funny about, um, you know, like I, I, I would never go in and confront her about it because she'll just fail her. It happened to a friend of ours who's English and he's in Florence and her, his daughter was repeatedly failed, even though she was bilingual, um, because the teacher was, you know, didn't. The, the parents had said something to her and they got the teacher got angry so she I mean it's pathetic but anyway so um, they spoke to the coordinating maths teacher and she said look we know that this is what she's like you're gonna to have to learn to cope with it um, and you you did the right like the Lulu didn't want to say anything because she was scared of the repercussions um, but um, the the math teacher said no you have to tell me these things we know that's what she's like so we'll take note and but we can't do anything right now but we might be able to if she does it again you need to tell us um because then we might if she does it repeatedly then you know we'll be able to do something about it but she just literally terrorized them and and lulu's other friend was in tears as well i mean they she just terrorized them i mean what you can't do a verbal questioning and terrorize the kids so that they're so scared they can't even answer you it's just ridiculous anyway so that's why I was mama bear came out yesterday but even though I didn't do anything I but I did um sort of advise Lulu that she needed to speak to her other teacher um and let her know what was going on but anyway she I mean she didn't give her a bad mark or anything so that was good um, because I, through her tears, she managed to answer all of the, you know, a lot of the questions. So it was a bit of a hard day for her yesterday. Did not have a good day. So we've just got a few tags there. We'll probably put some little bit of lace or something up the top. You know, we mums are protective, aren't we? Like we, like I won't, de but I, I, that being said, I won't defend Lulu if she's in the wrong. I get angry with her. Like if the, if she hasn't done her work properly, um, and then look what's arrived. I'm gonna try this. Um, if she hasn't done her work properly and she gets into trouble, and I say, well, you didn't do your work. You deserved it. That's how I am. There's no excuses for not doing your work. I think I meant to cut that off. Ooh. Okay, let's see how much oozes out. I might have to to transfer it. Okay, it doesn't even have any smell whatsoever. So I'm going to glue that on there. Isn't that cute? Let's see what we'll put on these. 
This is a bit plain, although it's quite nice. Sort of, I don't want that bit, but I might have just a little piece of it. No, I'll put that aside. And oh, what have I got here? I like these. I like to put this on, but sometimes I just like to fold it up like this and then just stitch across like that. That's what I would do with that one. No, they're all too big. Everything's switched around now, so I'd look at those later. I'm not going to waste time doing that. Okay. I can't remember what I wanted to do in this video. Cannot remember. So this is the, the glue, clear gel tacky glue, all purpose adhesive, dries, clear crystal, non-toxic. And I think it's meant to dry quite fast. Strong bond. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying. And I've also got, I have a glossy accent. Someone sent it to me and I don't know where I've put it. I've got to find it. I thought I'd put it in my glue drawer, but I didn't. I also bought this. So I'm going to try this one as well. So I'm full of glues. I've got glues everywhere. Right. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. So I had a mental blank as to what I wanted to do. Now, now my brain is functioning. So I've got these. These are actually um, book pages. Do I have any double ones? This will do. What I wanted to do, and I saw this on Meditative Scrapbooking. She had folded. Now that's going to be too wide. That's not going to work. It's too wide for my book. I might have to fold it like wanted it to fold. Okay, well, we'll trim it down. We'll trim off the edges, unfortunately. Unless I did some other type of folding. Like if I were to go... Like that and then that. Yeah, what about if we do something like, let's just see if that will work. So if I were to go like this, I don't think that's what she did. That's going to be my middle there, isn't it? No, that's not going to work. So if I were to go like that. No, I'm going to trim it. getting the glue off. I was trying to keep those nice old edges, but they'll have to go. Now I'll just try and trim this bit off to start off with. And I might just trim it down a bit shorter as well, because we don't want it peeking out the top of our book. And that's going to fold into there. And that will fold, and that's still going to be too wide, I think. I could just clip it in with a paper clip. Okay, so that's going to be like that. Then I'm going to open it like this, and here I'm going to put some writing paper. But I need to find some first. Bit of a mess. So first of all, I'm going to rip that off. I 
I don't want any paper in my creases. I think I'll put that there. Now, if I put that there, then I can go and pull the glue off on the back here. Just looking for a taper with this one. Just take a little bit more off. Yes. So we're kind of making um, sort of more sort of botanical. So you can write on this with a, a dark pen. That's going to go like that. That's going to go like that. They need to meet. And then I'm going to put something here. I think I might put that there. Yes. So let's rip this. And do I want to keep that bit? Or do I want to keep that bit? I think I want to keep that bit. So I need to fold it here just so I can see more or less where I need to go. But I am going to hand tear it because that's what I'm feeling like I want. here isn't that cute I'm gonna leave that because I love that although I could if I had something narrow which I don't think I do I don't want red I don't think I've got anything narrow in black and white but something narrow in black and white could have been nice there but I don't have it so I'll just leave that as it is that's gonna fold like that and then what I was gonna do was let me have a look here at my making stamps. Can't stamp that one. Or that one. No, I think I'll stamp that floral there. Okay. And I'm going to grab... Black, I think. Okay. 
and I'm just going to put a little piece of paper in the centre just in case it comes through, just to be sure. I want to see which is the right way. Okay. It's not exactly straight, but you know me. Not too bad. Okay, so that's that. Let's get rid of that, put that up there. I might do more stamping, so I'll just leave that there. And I think I would like to put just a little tab there, just so you can lift it. I want that paper. Maybe with this. Nope, not that. Um, Do want a little tab it's cute and I also might I'm just gonna snip off my little corners I like that I was trying to see where did I put my, um, I need to make some more scrappy trim in the neutrals. I don't think I've got any more left, except for that little piece. No, I'm not gonna put that there. That's a boring bit. Don't want anything too bulky. Oh wait, I've got this. It's big though. It's big and bulky, no. So, I'm just going to hop up for a second. Oh, I need to get um, Terry's Whale Tails as well. I might put that one or, or what about that one? That way. I want to keep it fairly neutral because my paper inside is blue. Oh, you're saying recording? Okay, yeah? Um, Are you in trouble? Okay, so we'll let that dry. It's just a cute little journal thing. Place to journal in. There and there. And there. And you could reinforce your pages by putting paper inside. But I thought that was a really cute idea when I saw... I think I'm going to snip these corners too. When I saw um, meditative, meditative... I have to say it slowly, scrapbooking... She didn't show how to do it. She just had it in a journal that I watched the flip through and I thought it was really cute. So that's that idea. Um, maybe we'll make another one with a variation. Why don't we do that? Just take the glue off. And it's fun to use the original pages in the book. So much glue. They really were determined to keep the pages in. I think the book might have been repaired 
So a lot of the pages have this horrible glue on there. Oh, there's another page there. Oh, good. That page had all the glue on it. Okay, so I need to trim off my bits again. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to fold them in. That's what I'm going to do. And strengthen it. That's a good idea. I don't know why I'm feeling a bump there. I'm just lining it up with the edge of the writing. Just before I glue it, I'll double check. So I folded that one in a bit too far. That's better. And you can glue those down. Yes, Steffi. Hi, Eddie. You want to show me something? Mm -hmm. Show me. Everything simple. Yeah, nice. A little bit of lace there. Okay. You know, like just trans, sort of transparent. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. there so now it's stronger where the fold is I think that's a good idea because this is very this book is 18 I can't remember if it's 1836 or 1856 there we go that's that so we'll put our paper in here I was going to trim it I do need to trim it down at the bottom though So basically, you, you're keeping your double page. Well, I am because these pages are small. Um, and then folding each side in half to meet in the centre. And then the centre you cover with your journaling paper. So I need to find something to go there. A lot of decorative stuff here and not a lot of plain that might be nice on the back This is from my Italian churches kit. I love these papers. I want to do something more with those. And Gail asked me to do that in the 100 day project. I really loved doing that, um, designing that. She didn't ask me to design a kit. She just asked me to be inspired by Italian churches. Oh, love that. Okay, good. I just need to tear a little bit more off. Okay. Ooh. pretty
Now here we want something more plain. I wonder if you could write on here a bit. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll put some of that there. I'm just going to just tear this off. that bit off there because that's very crooked cutting and then put that there just fold that up So that's that. That closes like that. You could do a little bit of writing there. You could, like, you know, put a different paper. Um, you know, more of a writing paper over there. But I think I'll leave it as it is. And I'm going to do my stamping. So I'll just stick that in there so I don't stamp on there. And I think I might use... I'm just going to try and... Oh, it doesn't fit... Okay, now that I'll fit, I want to use, oh, excuse me, sorry for the noise, terrible, 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 no, that's not it. I need to label my drawers so I know what's what. I think I'm going to use this one. down here like that and this is totally from Medi meditative <laughs> it's so hard to say for me I don't know why um, scrapbooking but now here I've left myself a nice space for a tab and let's grab this and this one will be fine with this, with the colours I've got going on here. I just have to decide which side do I want. That side. Or that, I think I'll have the more colourful side. Just fold it first. And these, I think these were sent to me by Wendy, these ones. Put it on, grab that one on the outside. A little peekaboo spot there and then on the back I thought it could be cute just to put a little pocket how about if we put a little pocket so I'm going to fold this down I'll do my fold first before I put my glue on I don't want a big pocket I've got ink everywhere and I don't have my towel anymore because I took it to be washed. I'll just wipe it. Good. And then 
What paper will I use on my pocket? Oh, maybe that one. So let's glue that. I'd even glue that on the inside. So it's fun to use different parts of the paper and then um, coordinate it all together. Cute. And I'm going to do a little snip here. I'm going to glue it on and then I'll see if I want to put some sort of decoration on there. Glue it. So let's try this one. Do I have to take this off or anything? Is it going to come out? Yeah, there it is. So when I first saw ladies using glossy accents, I actually thought it was something that had, <laughs> I thought it was something that had glitter in it because <laughs> it said glossy. I don't know. It didn't say glittery. I don't know why. I just thought it had glitter in it. It's not stinky. Is it non-toxic? That would be good because I do tend to get it all over me. Non-toxic. Fantastic. Okay. And we need a little decoration here. Let me just see what I've got here. Need to do some more printing of these. Getting low, getting low I am. I have these. These are like, I love that one. Don't think I've got it in the other colour. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put that one there. Okay, good. I think that's on sticky paper. Adhesive paper. Yep, there it is. So we'll stick that there, I think. There we go. Cute. So that's like that. And then here, you know, we've got I've got little tags. Let's slip a little tag in the pocket. Not that one. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Put a little tag in the pocket. And then just clip it in the journal. Oh, I didn't snip my corners. I like the snip corners. And then do these. Much better with it folded in rather than trimming it off. Okay, cool. So there we go, I made two of those. Cute, I like those. So they're fun additions to journals. Cute. Okay, so I think I'll end this video. I might attach something else to it. I'll see how long it was. Otherwise, I'll do a new video. So um, I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.